Number six. The 1992 world record, speed record for a bicycle, human-powered vehicle, was set by Chris Huber. His time through the measured 200 meter stretch was sizzling 6.509 seconds, at which he commented, Cogito ergo zoom, I think therefore I go fast. In 2001, Sam Whittingham beat Huber's record by 19 km per hour. What was Whittingham's time through the 200 meters? So what we know here, we know the time it took to Huber to, to go through the 200 meters and we want to know the time that Whittingham took. So the first thing that we will do is to calculate the velocity of Huber's. So the Huber's velocity, VH, equals delta x over delta t. And this is just, you just replace delta x by 200 meters and delta t by 6.509. And if you do this calculation, you would get 30.72 meters per second. Now we just need to add this 90 kilometers per hour and then we know Whittingham's velocity. However, this velocity over here is in kilometers per hour, so we have to convert it to meters per second. So 19 kilometers per hour, you just divide by 3.6 and you would get uh, 5.3, roughly 5.3 meters per second. So Whittingham's velocity would be Huber's velocity plus 5.3 which equals to 30.72 plus 5.3 would be equals to roughly uh, 36 meters per second. So this was Whittingham's velocity. Now we have, we have its velocity is really simple to calculate the, 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 the time it took to break the record. So let's remember that V equals delta x over delta t. So delta t, that is what we want, is simply delta x over v. So let's just replace the data that we have and it will be just 200 over 36 with, which equals to 5.554 seconds. And this is the answer of this exercise.